need a reading for Libra for uh, Mercury in retrograde. It starts March 22nd. Libra. Mercury in retrograde reading. The energy is coming towards them. Libra. I did shuffle these prior. I like to get them nice and shuffled for everybody. And I do meditate on each sign when I do so. I do meditate for each sign beforehand, which takes me a little bit longer than most. If I want to get it right or as close as possible. Now we got, um, could be your own energy. You got the Prince of Swords turned around. So what, make sure that that uh, energy that's coming in from Mercury doesn't get your uh, communications messed up. Because with a uh, um, Libra, that's an air energy. You know, this could be Aquarius too. It could be another air sign. And it's energy is coming towards you. But I'm feeling that maybe your uh, communications may be a little off as they are during Mercury and retrograde. So I want to get these out. Strength card. Sun card, Seven of Cups, okay, King, Knight of Wands, and the high, the high Priestess. I'm going to clarify these. I got these mixed up also, but I need it for Libra as a clarifier. And move these over again. Got to remember to do that. This is a new camera, and you're being tested with them. And hopefully, and I wanted to get these out just because I have new equipment, and I know how Mercury and Retrograde is messes up on communications, travel plans, anything that's movement like that. So what we got here is a strength card. and It's in the past, but its energy is also coming towards you. You may be uh, uh, really tired and uh, exhausted during this time. Your energy may feel zapped. And also energies that are coming towards you may zap, you know, your who you you know your strength so let's find out what's going on there why is the strength card in reverse for the past it's going to be like a past like situation that zapped you but it's something that's coming in yeah you're not wanting to battle you're not going to want to battle so you may have some energies coming to you towards you someone may want to argue a little and you're just not going to do it and you also got the uh, the sun card as an obstacle. You're not going to be real like cheery, cheery all the time. So let's find out why. Why is why is your why is your sunshine a little dark? And it's not the worst thing in the world. The the sun card reverse is still a good card, but it's considered an obstacle. And I guess that you know it could be that uh, things are just a little dampered for some reason. Let's find out. I'm hoping for you know more energy. And these energies, you, you do not have to accept. These are energies, like I said, coming towards you. So you can turn a lot of this around. Yeah, you're wanting some more growth, fertility, uh, fruition, blessings to come your way. And you may feel like it, you're not getting what you want during that time of Mercury in retrograde. And it could be just a feeling of energy that is down. But... The current environment or the current time of what's going to go on mainly, I should say, the foundation as, as the whole situation is, you got the Seven of Cups. So you may have a lot of confusing offers coming your way and options that you can choose from. And you may not like any of them, but they're coming your way. This is for uh, Libra. Why are your Seven of Cups there? Why is that energy there? Why is that energy coming your way? Seven of Cups. Well, I'm going to put this over here because it kind of fell out on the side and I don't know if it's upright or, you know, it could be over someone from the past, a third party. They may come back. That's another thing of Mercury and retrograde with communications. Someone may very well come back from the past, you know, for a lot of people it's, or they think about the past a lot. And what you got with the options is you got the three of swords. So you may actually have more than one option. Or it's energy, like I said, someone may come at you in a third-party situation mentality. So if that's not what you want, don't let them in. Now the Knight of Wands, that's an outside environment. That's a, a fire sign. That's, a, you know, it's an it's a Aries, it's a Leo, Sagittarius. And they're in the outside environment also. I mean, this is all outside environment, but they're going to be... Uh, uh, predominant in this area 
and they're real fiery. They got a lot of passion and they come and go real quick. And that is heading towards you also. So let's find out why the Knight of Wands is coming towards you. Oops. I may use these. We'll put them right here also. Now, you may not like what they're offering you, and you may not feel that, that you will gain a victory with them, and you may not just entertain it. You may drop it totally. Or they may, uh, yeah, I'm seeing that an offer, you may, there's an offer coming in, but it's turned around, and, and a victory. I'm feeling like you don't feel like this is a good option for you at this moment just during the mercury and retrograde which is a good idea because communications could be off it also could be just like in the pisces that you may miss out on a communication got a phone call coming in we'll ignore that I'm gonna decline that if i can we also at the end result the high priestess as as at the end. This is someone who is keeping to themselves, not letting anybody know their thoughts and feelings. It's more like a lot like the hermit card, but they're they're kind of like um, they're still getting out and about. They're just not telling everybody about themselves. They're keeping secrets. And it's also about intuition and keeping and using your intuition during this time. That maybe you should check with your communications. You should be careful of your options because they may not be. Um, something you want to go with may lead to a third party situation. Now this is coming towards you. Now why is the high priestess there for Libra? Yeah, you know, you're gonna um, be thinking. You're gonna you're gonna be kind of distraught, possibly, and it could be over something that is. Uh, been kept from you maybe that you feel like you can't find out certain information it may be hidden from you and it may have you a little worried during this time and it could have a lot to do with this third party coming in because that's you know usually um it is third party it could be infidelity it could be coming towards you and why i think it is uh concerning that is because you got this uh seven of cups and seven of cups you know, I, a lot of people like to sugarcoat it and they say it's confusion, which it is. But it's also someone having way too many options that aren't good for them. And I mean, not good for you as in health-wise and uh, uh, everything in your life, you know, emotionally. And that could be this. So if you don't want to get this way, and I, you know me, I believe that you can change your cards. I lived long enough and I've done it. And... Um, my thought is, if you can't change cards, then why even go to a tarot reader, tarot reader, or even you know watch it, because you can change them, you can change your situation up if you're careful, and that's why we have our cards read to avoid situations like this. So that is your reading. Be careful who you're messing with. Be careful who's coming in. They may they may not be all honest. You may not like what they're offering. You may very well turn it down could have something to do with a fire sign. But if you uh, watch for this, I think you'll be okay. Okay, Libra? I'll talk to you later. Bye.